Hey, what's up everybody? My name's Tobias and today I have a video for you on how to use the Monocaster AMC2 Neo streaming mixer with OBS. I've made a couple videos on the AMC2 Neo already, including an initial unboxing and review, as well as how to use the AMC2 Neo to record to an iPhone. And I'll go ahead and put the links to those videos down in the description below. But anyways, I'm not actually a streamer, but I did spend some time becoming familiar with the OBS app, and I do believe that there are some benefits to using a piece of hardware like the AMC2 Neo as your audio mixer in conjunction with the digital mixer in the OBS app. And by the way, if you don't already have the OBS app, I'll go ahead and put the link to it down in the description below as well. You can download it for free for Windows, Mac, or Linux. I have it for Mac. And once you download it, we can go ahead and open that up. And when it comes to the AMC2 Neo, it is a $60 streaming mixer, which I think would work well with OBS because you can have the physical controls in front of you, which you have the freedom to adjust without having to go into the OBS window while you're streaming or recording to adjust the digital audio mixer. So like I said, the Monocaster AMC2 Neo goes for $60 on Amazon, and I'll go ahead and put the link to it down in the description below in case you would like to check that out for yourself. And when it comes to setting up the AMC2 Neo, make sure to charge it up before using it. It does have a built-in battery, which should get you a max of seven hours of usage from a full charge. And by the way, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button if you would like to see more of my videos in the future. And now after you've charged up your Monocaster AMC2 Neo, go ahead and take that USB cable and plug it into the USB-C port on the back of the mixer right next to the charging port. Then plug the USB-A end of that cable into your computer. Once it's connected, go ahead and hold the power button on the back of the AMC2 Neo for a few seconds to turn it on. If you're using a Mac, the C2 Neo should show up in your system preferences under sound. If it doesn't show up, just wait a few seconds to see if it appears. And if it still doesn't show up, I would recommend going ahead and just turning off the C2 Neo and restarting your computer. And then once your computer boots up again, then go ahead and turn on the AMC2 Neo again. All right guys, so as you can see, I'm doing a screen recording now on my computer. I'm in OBS. And for the sake of starting from scratch, I'm going to go ahead and add a new scene to OBS, which you can also do by going ahead and just clicking the plus button under scenes. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit okay. And as you can see, OBS is giving us a blank screen. And by the way, you can also do this to an existing scene. You don't have to create a new scene if you don't want to. And by the way, this is just going to be a little example setup of something that you could do. So for example, say you want to do a screen recording with OBS, you want your webcam to have you down in the corner of the screen, and you also want your audio to be coming through the AMC2 Neo. This is how you'll go ahead and do that. So under sources, you're going to go ahead and click the plus button and select display capture. I'm gonna go ahead and just click okay. Then I'm gonna go ahead and click okay again. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and scale the screen to fit the frame in OBS. So here we go, guys. Just gonna fit the screen. All right, there we go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click the plus button under sources again, and I'm going to select video capture device right here. Now, I only have the built-in camera on my iMac, so I'm just gonna go ahead and select that. And now you can see my computer's camera has me on the screen, so I'm gonna go ahead and just shrink that down, uh, maybe like this, and I'm gonna go ahead and put me in the corner down here. So then the next thing that I would do is I would go over here to where it says audio mixer and where it says mic slash aux. Um, it's muted right now, but by default, it would probably be unmuted. And if that was unmuted, I would just go ahead and mute that because if I don't, it's going to be recording my voice from the computer's microphone and also the microphone on the AMC2 Neo. And I only want it to record audio from the AMC2 Neo. If it's recording from both microphones, it might give a weird effect that makes it sound like your voice is doubled or something. So then I'm gonna go back to the plus button and I'm gonna hit plus and I'm going to select audio input capture. And I'm going to go to add existing and select the C2 Neo. Hit OK, and now you see my audio levels from the C2 Neo are showing up right there under audio mixer. 
and we're ready to go. The next thing I would recommend is testing out the microphone that you're using with the AMC2 Neo. Also make sure that you have the USB and stream out knob turned up. That's basically your master output volume. Then go ahead and adjust your mic gain and mic volume on the AMC2 Neo. Make sure you're not going into the red. And then also look at the audio mixer in OBS. Make sure that you're not going into the red where it says C2 Neo. And if you are going into the red, you have the option between turning down your mic gain or you can go ahead and just turn down the master USB and stream out knob. I would also probably recommend plugging in a pair of headphones to the C2 Neo so you can monitor your audio, which I am actually doing right now. And I actually do have the direct monitor button activated on the AMC2 Neo. And now we're essentially ready to either start streaming or recording. Now, if you haven't used OBS before, you will have to set up your streaming or recording settings in OBS. This won't have anything to do with the Monocaster AMC2 Neo. And in my opinion, these settings will be up to you. There are tons of videos on YouTube which tell you which settings you should probably use. So I would actually recommend just looking up that stuff on your own. But for the sake of this video for what I'm doing, which will just be a recording, I'll show you a couple of the settings that I have set for my recording. So first I'm going to go ahead and click on settings on the right hand side. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on output and where it says output mode at the top, I went ahead and selected advanced. And then where it says recording, I'm gonna go ahead and click on that tab. And then I have recording format set to MP4. And then I also selected my recording path. I selected a file on my external hard drive. So you can go ahead and uh, hit browse and select where you want your recording to be saved to. Then under video where it says output right here, I selected 1080. And then I'm gonna go down here and select OK. And I'm gonna click start recording right here. And yeah, then I can go ahead and just uh, minimize that. By the way, guys, I'm recording this screen recording. I'm basically doing two recordings right now. I'm recording my entire computer screen with QuickTime and now I'm doing a recording in OBS. And for the QuickTime recording, I'm actually recording into, uh, I'm recording my audio into Logic Pro. So yeah, a lot of stuff going on, but let's go ahead and test out um, some of the settings on the AMC2 Neo. So I'm gonna try out a pitch preset. And you can hear right now that my voice got really high pitched. And now I'm back to normal. Um, and then you can do other cool stuff like uh, you can turn on the Bluetooth on the AMC2 Neo. So I can go ahead and bring music in by um, adjusting the aux input without having to go into OBS or anything. I can do everything just on the Monocaster itself. Um, I can even bring in a sound effect that I have saved to one of my customizable sound pad buttons. Like that. And that's about it guys. Let me go ahead and bring OBS back up. I'm gonna go ahead and hit stop recording. And then this over here, right here guys, you can see the video file that we just recorded. I'm gonna go ahead and open that. And this is the video file right here that we just recorded. So yeah, that's how you can make a recording with OBS using the Monocaster AMC2 Neo. So anyways, guys, I hope that helped you out. I do think that it is kind of beneficial to have a physical mixer to control your audio because then you don't have to go into the OBS window and make those adjustments there, which could interrupt your streaming or recording. So anyways, guys, I would love to know what you guys thought about this. Let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions. And as usual, guys, if you did like this video or it helped you out, I would really appreciate it. If if you went down there and gave this video a like that would help me out so much if you would like to see more of my videos in the future make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and also that bell notifications button if you'd like to follow me on instagram i'll go ahead and put my handle right here and i'll talk to you guys in my next video peace